tuned, my little dog. Hi, guys. Well, it is a gray, gloomy, slit your wrist kind of Monday night here in the end times at Bugs in a Jar Farm. It is Monday night, September 23rd, 2024. So I have now made it two days into my golden years in my golden years uh trying to find my new alcohol equilibrium uh i notice guys that i'm uh that i'm not having any hangover in the morning and what's really weird about this is i have had this horrible shoulder and arm pain this shooting pain going all the way through my arm, all the way out my little finger uh, that's been keeping me up where I get up a couple of times a night and do all of these weird stretches. Ever since I uh, increased my alcohol uh, content in my bloodstream, this pain has gone away in my arm. I, I, I sleep right through the night. Uh, so if you're having any sort of shoulder problems, I definitely suggest drinking uh, four ounces of tequila and two ounces of triple sec, uh, taking about three different kinds of... Uh, of sleeping pills. By the way, if anybody has any clonopin or what's the one that begins with the A? At not Albion, something like that. But I am in the market for some clonopin and that A one. So uh, maybe just send me a private email at humptydumptytribe.com. If you can set me up with some clonopin or, you know, the A1 Ambien. Is that it? Ambien. But anyway, <clears throat> while I'm figuring that out, I Brother Alistair just sent me an article that he said I needed to read talking about this new research uh, linking... Uh, showing a link between alcohol and cancer, how, uh, you know, drinking alcohol increases your cancer risk, and I responded back to him, well, I guess I have to uh, increase my alcohol intake a little bit more so uh, I can get serious about uh, not having a 66th birthday. But anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to give you a break on the ham bone implosion. <laughs> Have you guys seen this story? Chinese zoo exhibit features dogs disguised as pandas. Zoo admits that their pandas are painted dogs after backlash <laughs> from visitors. These are actually very cool. Uh, I don't know if you can see this or not. The the uh, the painted dogs. <laughs> you, you know, you gotta you gotta give people credit. Uh, a Chinese zoo has admitted that the pandas in their exhibit were in fact painted dogs. Uh, <clears throat> Visitors at the Shanwai Zoo realized they were being bamboozled when the so-called pandas began panting and barking. Um, in one visitor's video, one of the pandas was visibly panting while resting on a rock, while another clip had a panda with a long tail strolling about. It's a pan dog 
one viewer wrote, while someone else joked, that's the Timu version of a panda. They were panting. That's why they are pandas, a third noted. Uh, after visitors publicized the ruse on social media, the organizers admitted they painted two chows, a fluffy dog breed from China with black and white panda markings. Since then, visitors have demanded their money back for false advertising. This is not the first time a Chinese zoo has misled visitors with claims of housing real pandas. In May, NBC reported that Tai Zhao Zoo in Jiangsu province had also painted chows. Zoo representatives initially claimed that the animals were a rare breed of panda dogs <clears throat> before admitting that such animals do not in fact exist. At the time, zoo officials told Chinese state media they had advertised them as panda dogs and did not intentionally mislead anyone. When journalists asked them why they invented the idea of panda dogs to cover their tracks, a zoo representative explained, well, there are no panda bears at the zoo, so we wanted to do this as a result. Yes, at the time, state media and the general public criticized the zoo for mistreating the dogs. <clears throat> This is one off of the Chinese uh, Twitter called Weibo. It is not funny at all to dye chows to attract tourists. Their fragile skin and naturally thick coats make them susceptible to skin diseases. However, officials defended their choice to paint the dogs, noting they weren't harmed by the dye and agreed that if humans could dye their hair, so could dogs. Quote, normal people dye their hair. Uh, dogs can dye their hair too. It's the same hair. Yes. From a dog cafe in the province of Sichuan, dyeing six chows to look like panda bears in 2019 to a woman in the same province walking a panda dog in a viral video, it does not seem like this zoo practice is a fluke. What do you want? Do you want to be dyed as a panda dog? <clears throat> what do you think? So anyway, guys, of course, this was all... <laughs> A, a, a lead in. Uh, 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 of course, uh, Hamlin Little Tail has a uh, has a dog dying story. I honestly don't think I have ever told this story. I, you know, after 15 years of telling unknown stories, I honestly don't think I've ever mentioned this one about how I died my dog. Uh, this was uh, Joshua McCabe. You know, I always give my dogs last names. So Joshua McCabe was my dog when I was a teenager <clears throat> in Atlanta. Joshua was, uh, well, the second coolest dog I have ever had. Joshua was the dog that I hitchhiked all around the country with. That, well, that dog and I, good God, we went all around the country hitchhiking when we were 16, uh, 17, and 18. But anyway, so, so I know Joshua was still alive, and I was still living at home at my mother's house, so I hadn't moved out. So I must have been, um, I guess, about 17. It was either 17 or 18. And uh, so I've mentioned that my mother, you know, she was a shrink. 
in Atlanta, but we had this cabin up in North Georgia uh, that uh, I uh, kind of uh, oversaw the construction of when I was so. Okay, so I must have been eighteen. So my mother would go up to North Georgia uh, for like three days a week. And, and so, of course, that left me uh, you know, with, the, with the run of the house uh, in Atlanta. So I had, you know, this five bedroom, three bath house in Atlanta uh, pretty much every weekend uh, when, uh, you know, when I was like 17 and 18 years old. So you can imagine, uh, what, 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 what I did with that. So anyway, obviously <clears throat> I made it, uh, Hambone's little, uh, little pussy corral to the best of my ability. So I was, uh, Fucking this chick, she was she was actually the the dean's daughter at Emory University. She, <laughs> I, I I was fucking Emory the the dean of students at Emory University. It was his daughter uh, that uh, that uh, I I would uh, get over to the house whenever I could. I I, I remember we we melted one of my mother's lampshades. We, we, we put a towel over it to try to get the lighting different in, in, in my mother's queen size bed. And while we were fucking, we melted the lampshade. And uh, my mother was not very happy about that. She did have to draw the line. She, she goes, God damn it, you know, uh, I know that you have girls over here while I'm gone, but, but no more fucking in my bed. It, 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 you know, these are conversations that most uh, teenagers don't have with their mother. So I, so I promised my mother that I would not fuck anybody in her bed again. So uh, since we, we did not have the bed available to us, th this girl, we'll, we'll call her Betty Boop, I don't know how I did always end up with these kinky chicks. I won't say she was actually to the nymphomaniac level of, of, of some of these other ones, but, but she was a very adventurous young woman. And what she, what her kink was, is, is she liked it in our upstairs uh, hall, in the linen closet was a big mirror, like like the whole door was a mirror, was this big mirror uh, that you, you know looked out over the the shag rug in the hall. She was into mirrors. Uh, all right, so she loved to fuck and watch herself in the mirror getting fucked. And uh, so that is where we usually ended. We usually ended up. It was on the hall floor, on the shag carpet, on the hall floor. Uh, so she could get her rocks off, watching herself get fucked. Uh, and, and and obviously, uh, I, I mean, uh, I, I didn't mind. I, I mean, I, I preferred the real thing. But uh, anyway, what, whatever. Uh, if that's your kink, that was an easy kink. I, you know, the the rug burns on the knees were a little bit of an issue. That's those fucking rug burns on my knees. I still remember them to the day. But anyway, and and I honestly don't remember whose idea this was. I do not remember whose idea this was. Whether it was it was mine or hers. So anyway. She was a dark-haired brunette. She was a dark-haired brunette, and so her pubic hair was very dark brown. Uh, and this was like in the late 1970s before, uh, you know, the cue ball came in and the, the landing strip and the mohawk. This is when it was okay for girls 
uh, you, you know, to have a bush uh, before all of this weird shaving shit came in somewhere. When did that, when did all of that weird shaving come in? I think even guys shave their pubic hair. So, anyway, she or I, one of us, gets it in our head that we wanted to dye her pubic hairs blonde. Uh, it, it, you know, uh, I mean, I I enjoyed, don't, don't get me wrong, I fully in, enjoyed fucking this girl, but I, I have to admit, guys, I, I, I do like blonde pubic hair, so it was probably my idea. So anyway, if we came up with the idea that we were going to dye uh, our pubic hair, and she goes, well, if I'm going to dye mine, Hamlin, you're going to dye yours. And, 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 I, and, I, and I said, well, mine are already almost blonde. So, so anyway, I made the deal that I would dye my pubic hair. She would dye hers. And, uh, and I actually remember the name of this shit. It was called Lady Clairol. Lady Clairol. And you had to put on these little blue plastic gloves. And, and the, I, I mean, uh, this shit, I, I mean, it smelled nasty. I mean, it was some serious fucking bleach. So we go up there. And obviously, where do you think that this operation takes place? It takes place in front of the in front of the hall mirror that uh, that uh, I put on the gloves and all this, and, and I dyed her pubic, and it is very dangerous, especially with the with the female. To, to be down there with bleach and shit. Uh, but, but anyway, I, I was very careful. And then, uh, and, and then, and then she, uh, uh, you know, returned the favor for me. And so you're supposed to sit there and, and like lather up your pubes. Then you have to sit there for like 30 fucking minutes. So anyway, you got to understand the layout of this upstairs hall. You came up the stairs right at the top. It was a split level ranch house. Right at the top of the stairs was the linen closet with the mirror door and the, the, the shag carpeting. Okay. And to the right of the, you're coming up the stairs, to the right of the door was my mother's bedroom with the queen size bed, which we were not allowed to fuck in. And then on the, to the left, on the other end of the hall was my mother's, uh, what was my mother's, uh, office. You know, she was a shrink. So this is where, you know, her clients would come through the front door, go up the stairs, turn at the linen closet and go into her office. And then to the left of the linen closet, was a bathroom, it was a full bathroom, you know, tub and shower, and the whole bit. So you got to picture this. Uh, we were there, and and Joshua was kind of like Sancho. He was always uh, with it, with an eight. No matter what we were doing, fucking dog was always there within eight feet of us. So. Uh, we're there in front of the mirror, and we, we have our pubic hairs all fucking lathered up, and we're sitting there, you know, for 30 minutes. The whole fucking house stinks like this Lady Clairol bleach and shit. Here's the dog uh, in, in my mother's room uh, about, about five feet away from us. I look like, what in the fuck? Are, 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 are you two uh, idiots doing now? And uh, so we're sitting there, and you know, my mother's uh, uh, up in North Georgia. Take a wild guess what happens.
while in, in that 30 minutes while we're sitting there in front of that mirror, we hear my mother's car come driving up the fucking driveway. We're butt ass naked. Our fucking pubic hairs have, have all of this blue goop all in them. The fucking house stinks like Lady Clairol bleach. And my mother is driving up the fucking driveway. In about 90 seconds, she's going to come walking through the front door. <laughs> and, and, and the dean's daughter uh, looks at me and, and, and goes, like, fuck! And, 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 and we're like, ah, fuck! And, and, and we hear the car... <coughs> Pulling in, and, the, and my mother getting out of the fucking car, and, and we're staring at each other. I say, get your ass in the fucking bathroom. All our clothes were, were lying all around the fucking thing. So she grabs our, she's, she's gathering up our fucking clothes to run in the fucking bathroom. So what do you think I grab? I grab the dog. I grab the dog who was a little bit bigger than, than Sancho, and he was jet black. Joshua was was jet black. He had kind of the same uh, the, the, the same level of fur, a similar tail, but he, he had this black tail with a white tip on it. So we me, the dean's daughter and the dog and, and Joshua, all three run in the bathroom and and, and shut the door right when my fucking mother is walking in the front door like 20 feet and and, and we hear her coming in and she's in and, and we get her Sam what's that smell what's that awful smell and and, uh, and so we're we're in the fucking bathroom freaking out uh we're going oh uh, it, it, it's just, I, I, I said, it's just something we're doing with Josh. She goes, something you're doing with Josh? And, and, and I said, yeah, uh, uh, I, I, I said, you'll, uh, you'll, you'll see in a little while, you'll get a big fucking laugh out of it. And I'm thinking, motherfucker. Well, fortunately... We had a lot more of this shit, uh, in, you know, in the mixing bowl, because all we used was a little bit just for, you know, just for our pubic hairs. So we had the whole fucking mixing bowl, uh, 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 this Lady Clairol, and and and, and my damn girlfriend like 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 what what are you what the fuck are you getting ready? And, and I got the fucking mixing bowl. And I went like this down Josh's back and his tail, and I got these fucking gloves on, and, and I'm and I'm rubbing the fucking I'm rubbing the fucking Lady Clairol and and right down a, a stripe right down his back and and, and his tail, uh, this jet <laughs> this jet black dog man, and we I put that whole fucking bowl of that shit. Fucking dog was freaking like, what the fuck are you doing to me? And then, of course, uh, you, you, you know, you had to wash it off. So we sat around there. Uh, I, I, I've got, my fucking pubic hairs are full of this shit. The dean's daughters, her, her fucking pussies, got, got all of this fucking blue shit uh, on it. My goddamn dog uh, has all of this. And, uh, and, and, and my mother's outside the door going, what are you doing in there? And, 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 I, and I said, you'll see in a few minutes, Mom. And uh, she's, out, she's out there muttering and shit. I can hear her unpacking her stuff in her bedroom. And uh, so we, we, we turn on the fucking shower. <coughs> First, we go in there. Uh, we, we, we go in there and, and uh, wash the bleach out of our pubic hairs. And, and I have to admit, her pussy was gorgeous. Absolutely. I mean, it was exactly 
the collar of, 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 of Sancho. Uh, so her pubic hair came out absolutely what I was hoping for. Man, I, I, I was getting a hard on. Like, I had a whole fucking new pussy to fuck uh, in front of me. So I was loving it. So I came out, like, bright yellow. Uh, my, my pubes were... <laughs> Like the, like bright yellow because I was already almost blonde to begin with. So we take care of ourselves. Then uh, we get out and, um, and 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 put Josh in there, and I get the shower head and I and I rinse the dog off, and he came out exactly the color of a red fox. It, he was beautiful. Uh, jet black with this red fox red color going down his back and uh, all the way up to that white tip on his tail. Absolutely beautiful. And uh, so uh, we come out and I said, okay, mom, are you ready? And, and, and she goes, I don't know. So I let that dog out and, and she just fucking screamed. Like, what in the hell have you done to the dog? And uh, I, I said, I don't know. Uh, I said it was Betty Boop's idea. She goes, no, it wasn't. It was his idea. I anyway. Uh, but that was my dog dying story. That, that fucking dog, I mean, it took a year. It took a year uh, for that uh, bright red stripe and that red tail to uh <laughs> to molt out of him oh god but anyway the stories of my ribald youth uh which i have nothing else to since i can't look forward to uh to any stories like that i can only look back so that's what I was up to when I was 17 years old. Anyway, no real moral to this story, but but I but I will say, uh, particularly if you're a youngster, you, 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 you know, and, and uh, the, all of these different hair colors and shit that they have now. I mean, they work anywhere. And it's it's unbelievable uh, <clears throat> the difference it makes. Uh, what it, I mean, it was like I had a, a whole new pussy, and then we actually started uh, playing with wigs. Uh, that uh, you know, I bought her several wigs. And, and she would put on a blonde wig or a red-haired wig. Uh, I was I was fucking all these different girls. Anyway, this is this is where my mind goes when I return to my uh, return to my alcoholic youth. When I was that age, my, my big talent that I could always win a bet by. Do you remember that shit called Cold Duck? Andre Cold Duck. Now, I'm really aging myself. Nasty shit. It was uh, half champagne, half sparkling burgundy. Stuff was nasty. I could drink a bottle of of Andre Cold Duck, the entire bottle in less than 30 seconds. Less than 30 seconds. Uh, I could take that bottle and, and, and uh, you know, pop that fucking cork and have it in my, uh, and have it in my stomach in less than 30 seconds. I won many a bet with that and uh, let me tell you what uh, that would do to your brain. I mean, you would drink that, you would do that, and it took about 45 seconds. 
boom for the fucking top of your head to blow off. Man, I am not suggesting I could drink a bottle of Andre Cold Duck in less than 30 seconds. I probably could not drink a bottle of Andre Gold Duck in, in, in 30 days now. But, uh, anyway. <clears throat> That's all. What do you think, little dog? You want to be painted, a painted dog for Halloween? What should we paint you as? Can we make him a little raccoon dog? I will try to resist painting you for Halloween. Uh, I'm going to bed. I'm going to take my three different sleeping pills and go to bed. Bye, guys.